Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today, we are going to continue with our story of Chocolate's Dream. Before you is a story mountain. This is what we are going to work on today. Today, we are working on describing the overall structure of a story. This allows me to tell the events that happened in the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. One way to help me piece all of this information together is a story mountain. Let's look at all the components of the story mountain. Introduction. Who is your character? What are they doing? Where does the story take place, also known as the setting? Rising action. What does your character want? Heart of the story. Climax. This is the biggest problem. What happens to make things worse? Exciting or suspenseful? Falling action. What choices does your character make? The problem is almost solved. And then your resolution. How does the story end? All problems are solved by the time you get to the resolution. This is the end of your story. So let's think back to Chocolate's dream. Chocolate is our dog. He lives in an abandoned mill. But he didn't always live in an abandoned mill. The bird happens to see him behind the fence and ask him some questions. And so Chocolate decides to tell him the story of how he had a family before. And the bird, feeling sorry for him and decided to help, gets Sarah's attention. And Sarah comes out and sees Chocolate. And that's all Chocolate ever wanted, was to be noticed by this girl, Sarah, in the book. So let's think about, what's our introduction? Our introduction is, Chocolate is a dog that lives in the old mill. What does he want? Chocolate wants the little girl to notice him. So here is what I want you to do today. I have filled in the first two. Now I want you to take the last three of our story mountain and I want you to complete those using the story that we read yesterday, Chocolate's Dream. Now, I know that you guys did a fantastic job on your work yesterday by telling me the beginning, the middle, and the end of Chocolate's Dream story. So I want you to take everything that you learned yesterday and apply it to these three components of our story mountain. That is what I would like for you to finish today.